to God be the glory. Um, I'm a little overwhelmed, I need to admit. Um, yeah, to God be the glory. Um, it's always good to be home. Um, it's always good to feel the love of family and, and home folk. And uh, every one of you I count uh, as family. Um, to the established protocol, uh, I just simply greet you in the joy of the risen Savior. Um, the scripture that uh, I recite every day for this journey is in Isaiah where it says the Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher that I might lift the weary with a word. And that has been the scripture that has uh, guided my, my thinking and my prayers and my, my aspirations. I want to, to thank the presiding elder, my presiding elder for his support and his vision. I want to uh, thank my presiding elder traveling partner uh, for her presence and her support and her constant prayers. Certainly to my area YPD director, Miss. Mixia, she has uh, been a supporter for me for many years. When I was YPD uh, president at, at Shiloh, we had the idea of having a church carnival one Saturday. And that, you know, uh, Presiding Elder McPherson, you told the story about how the shop owner uh, helped you to see your leadership and your potential um, Shiloh, my home church and the Women's Missionary Society, I had this idea and at the time the Sarah Thomas was the YPD uh, director and she took it to the Senior Missionary Society and the Senior Missionary Society gave us a contribution and uh, all the YPDers, we got together and we planned this, this church carnival one Saturday. And lo and behold, our area director drove down from Abbeville to be present for this little church carnival that a few little young people had decided to do uh, for the church. And that let me know that, um, that the people will support you if they can see the vision with you. Um, and so that helped me um, I hopefully move into to my calling and my ministry. And, um, you know, my mother has this routine whenever I leave the house, she goes down through a checklist of things to make sure I have them with me. And, to, and today she said, uh, do you have your handkerchief? Um, and she said, because uh, if you get up there and start crying, I can't get a handkerchief to you uh, in time. And, uh, and once again, she was, she was right, but uh, I, I got my handkerchief, uh, just in case. Uh, to uh, Reverend Myron Hill, who's been a, a friend and a brother in YPD and now in, in ministry uh, for, for so many years, I want to thank him for all of, uh, all of his hard work. And to my younger brother, the Reverend Dowling, uh, who passes in the heart of Abbeville, amen, uh, for, for his support, and uh, Sister Renee Frazier, who served on the committee, and certainly to the pastor of Shiloh, uh, the Reverend Warden, uh, for his leadership and uh, for his love for my family and who takes care of my spiritual family. I praise God uh, for you. When I was in college, uh, Reverend Richburg was my pastor, amen. And, uh, but uh, the Alphas, Reverend Richburg, uh, tutored, we tutored uh, in an after-school program, and we tutored 
at Mount Carmel, uh, Reverend Warden's home church. So I got to meet all of his kinfolk uh, when I was in college, and they said, oh, you from McCormick? Well, we have some wardens down in McCormick, and, and lo and behold, the wardens from Great Court are now uh, sharing with the wardens in McCormick, so we praise God for him. To the, to the people on the hospitality team and the publicity team, the logistics and the, and the program, uh, to my, my family at Shiloh, to the, to the young people, the Shiloh Steppers, that was my first time seeing the Shiloh Steppers. I think uh, we may have to take them to Philadelphia uh, next summer. Amen. Um, uh, uh, to all my former pastors and uh, to, the, to the mayor and to the community leaders, uh, to everyone here, every program participant, uh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed uh, with your love and, and your support. Uh, someone asked me why was I running for Christian education and I explained to them that uh, when I was growing up Shiloh was on a circuit. We were on the circuit with Springfield and so Shiloh had worship on second and fourth Sunday and Springfield had worship on first and third and but we had Sunday school every Sunday. So early on I learned that Christian education was, was at least as important as worship because we went to Sunday school four times a month, sometimes five, and we worshiped two times a month. Um, and, and I'm running because Christian education is just a part of my DNA. Um, um, my mother, as a, as a young teacher, taught adult education, and she taught adult education to adults that wanted to learn how to read and to improve their reading in order that they might read the Word of God. And so in their reading class, the text that they were looking at was the Sunday School Quarterly. And so the reading class ended up being a Sunday School class. Um, I'm running because my dad served as Sunday school superintendent and, and vacation Bible school director and Christian ed director. I'm running because Miss Bertha Bell and Miss Janie Searles were my, my catechism teachers and taught, taught me about the, the love of God. I'm running because Mr. Jane Thomas Wyden, who just passed, was my Sunday school superintendent. And my godfather, H.W. Walker, taught the uh, adult class. And uh, I, I'm running because so many people have poured into me uh, about the love of God and the power of God. And if I can do anything for the church and for God's people, to grow in discipleship, I'm willing, I'm willing to do it. And so I thank you for helping me uh, on this journey. Uh, I'm running on the theme of faith forward because I believe that we are all called to walk this journey of faith and that we are called to grow in, in our discipleship. And uh, We've talked a lot about the AME Church, and I love the AME Church, but I didn't just get my formation from the AME Church. Uh, McCormick County is, is Baptist County, and I told you Shiloh only worshiped on the second and, and fourth Sunday, and we lived in the bottom when I was a, a little boy, and my very first Easter speech, anybody did an Easter speech? Uh, my very first Easter speech was at Bethany Baptist Church, and uh, Mr. Alexander Wilson gave me my first Easter speech, and it was, I may be little, but I can say Jesus rose on Easter day. Amen? Um, so uh, the AME Church has poured so much into me, but the churches and community of, of McCormick 
uh, and the Peat Mountain, Abbeville and Greenwood and Lawrence have poured so much into me that uh, I don't run by myself. This race is no joke, let me tell you. If I had known what all of this entailed, I, I probably would not have done it. But the beauty of it, if I had to run this thing by myself, I might say no. But if I know that all of you are running with me, I think we might make it to the finishing line. I think we might make it and we'll be able to declare victory together. So I seek your prayers, I seek your prayers, I seek your prayers, amen? Uh, and if you know anybody who might be a delegate in Philadelphia next year, just call my name to them and ask them if they might support this candidacy because I want to I want to help the church to grow in its teaching ministry so that we can be about being discipleships because the world needs more disciples. The world needs more people committed to God and willing to, to share the love of God and the good news of God, not only in word, but in action and in deed. So I, I seek your prayers. Um, I um, want to thank Reverend Hill for doing one other thing for me, and, and that is agreeing to be my campaign manager. Oh, uh, praise God. Uh, I, I need some help, and I think he is the one who can give me the, the help I need in order uh, to make it to the finishing line. Um, you know, it's always a danger to, uh, to ask people things in public or they, they might say no. But uh, I think if they were really willing to drive uh, six hours to be here, I can ask both of the Dr. Hills if they will serve as honorary chairpersons uh, for the campaign. And they both said yes. Amen. 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 I might get in trouble, but uh, I've asked my father to serve as treasurer, amen, amen. Uh, but I've asked my mother to serve as co-treasurer, so that somebody, amen, amen, <laughs> amen, to God be the glory. Uh, I realize there were a lot of things you could have done on a sunny Saturday afternoon. Uh, certainly the jockey lot was certainly open today. Uh, all the stores were certainly open today. Uh, I'm sure they're showing movies somewhere uh, today and a whole lot of other things that you could have been doing. But I want to thank you for choosing um, to come and to share uh, in this day. Uh, I'm sure there is something that I'm forgetting to say. Uh, but please, as they say, charge it to my head and, and not my heart. Uh, I just want to thank you and um, certainly again to my home church, Shiloh, for everything that you have done uh, to make this day um, what it is. And to every one of you, uh, my prayer for you is that God might continue to bless you and that God might bless you richly in the way that your prayers and your support and your presence today um, have been a blessing to me. So again, thank you so much and God bless you all.